Extraction of large or multiple stones during ERCP is usually challenging. Mechanical lithotripsy, electrohydraulic lithotripsy, extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, or laser cholangioscopy guided lithotripsy are alternative techniques proposed to manage this pathology. However, these techniques often require multiple treatment sessions, and with the exception of mechanical lithotripsy, they also require purchase of expensive equipment. First, partial sphincterotomy is performed, then large balloon papilla dilation with subsequent extraction of bile duct stones are performed. This MRCP shows large bile duct stones. Here you see the normal major papilla. We selectively cannulate the common bile duct with a guide wire using a 3-lumen RX sphincteratome. Fluoroscopy confirms correct positioning of the guide wire within the bile duct. Gently, the guide wire is advanced in the duct. Injection of contrast shows a dilated common bile duct with macrolithiasis. Leaving the guide wire in the intrahepatic ducts, a partial sphincterotomy towards 1 o'clock is performed. You see that the cut is carried out until half length of the papillary roof is cut. The sphincterotome is withdrawn, but the guide wire left in place. A dilation balloon is inserted in the distal part of the common bile duct. Inflation is started under fluoroscopy control in order to verify that the stone is not between the wall of the bile duct and the balloon. This is of utmost importance to prevent perforation during dilation. Gradually, the balloon is inflated up to 6, 7 and 8 ATM at least for 30 seconds at every step, in order to achieve the maximal size of 18 millimeters. Keep the balloon in a stable position throughout the dilation to avoid complications. In the present case, we choose a balloon with a maximum width of 18 millimeters. It is crucial to choose the balloon size in accordance with the size of the bile duct and of the stones. The balloon is deflated and removed and the wall of the common bile duct can be seen. Now we employ a standard extraction catheter balloon to extract the giant stone under fluoroscopic control. Occlusion cholangiography with the ionflated balloon catheter confirms complete removal of the stones. With a Roth net retriever, the stone is grasped and retrieved. This was done on the patient's previous demand. The stone had a width of 12 mm and a length of 25 mm.
Partial sphincterotomy plus large balloon dilation is a safe and effective single-stage technique for extraction of giant or difficult lithiasis of the extrahepatic bile duct. This combined procedure can be easily performed with standard endoscopic accessories and used safely by experienced interventional endoscopists. Overall complication rates are comparable with that of endoscopic sphincterotomy alone.